Vasundra, my dear, you cannot study science. What if you spill chemicals on yourself? I don't want to marry you. You are not fit for sex. You, a TV anchor? No one wants to see a cripple on the screen. Also, you are not a beauty queen. Figure out, figure out, figure out, out, figure out. Kadam kadam me gam hai to kya? Magar is kadam me gam hai yaro. Kadam kadam me gam hai to kya? Magar is kadam me gam hai yaro. If you give up, limit is the sky. Get up and grab it. Sky is no high. Dear, if you give up, limit is the sky. Get up and grab it. Sky is no high. Figure out, 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 figure out. Figure out, figure out. I don't care anymore what others are saying, but I did when I was a kid. I got polio at the age of two due to improper vaccination. I can move my hands, head freely, but I can't move my legs. So I need my wheelchair. It's part of my body. Imagine. My life was stuck in between four walls. I never disappoint for that. So I make myself busy by painting, reading books, and watching TV. And I had a bucket list of dreams. I wanted to study. I hope to find fulfilling job. And also, I am looking forward to. Find my prince charming, <laughs> and what can I do? Nobody believed in me. Today, I achieved all my dreams, but <laughs> the road was rather bumpy. See, every mother is protective. My mother very protective. She always insisted to focus on my studies and a secure job, government job. I did not like that all. Who should decide what can I do and can't do? I want to break the barriers. I strongly decided to become a TV host. I complete my PG in journalism. Went to Hyderabad to fulfilling my dreams. In media, getting a job for disabled is very difficult. After one year struggle, I am lucky I get a job, but not my dream job as a TV host, but as a content writer. I need to visit the fields to take interviews of celebrities and reporting. I work ten hours per day sitting in the wheelchair. You know, my colleagues are earning twenty-five thousand per month for the same kind of job, but I am getting ten thousand only. When I came to know this, therefore, I went to ask my employer to raise my salary. Do you know what he said? You had asked a job. For us, we employed you. As our corporate social responsibility, or corporate social responsibility. <laughs> that time, I hear like that only. <laughs> Does he reduce me as an act of CSR element for doing regular job? Then, I quit my job. I started my own event management company, View Media's, in 2014. Later, I started to offer services like decoration, light and sound setup, food catering, and publicity, etc. And also, I organized a couple of events like beauty pageant for wheelchair users, cricket matches for the blind. Here, the problem was same. Sponsors are not supported these events because it's all about empowerment. They are very much interested in charity, like 
distributing groceries, wheelchairs, and blankets. But I never stop my works. Later, I closely work with other NGOs, community members, government, and private sectors. I came to know some interesting facts. The depth of this problem and why society treated disability in this way, in a problematic way. Since three centuries, disability treated as a curse, later as a burden, after that, unproductive. We are very productive, but we are not recognized. We are not participated. We are not respected. We are denied by participation. Later, we started to fight for equal rights and access. We get some acts and laws, but implementation was very poor. We are still under development. Most of the disabled people are suffering for the sustainability. Then, how can we continue our fight for equality? I thought, if we get financial freedom, we can solve all the problems. But, lack of beliefs leads to lack of confidence. Coming to the entrepreneurship, nobody trusts disabled entrepreneurs. Meanwhile, we are not getting any financial assistance and bank loans. How can I bring the change? When one problem leads to the next problem, we have a bigger problems to solve. Again, I stuck in the circle of problems. That time, I met Kantari alumni Satya Illa. I shared my idea to start an incubator. Almost one year, we discussed, discussed, this way, that way, this way. We could not find any way. In that first station, he threw me the place where everyone find a solutions. Here I am. I stopped here to think and discuss about problems. I started to find solutions. I want to build an accessible campus and comfortable environment for disabled. It's not only safety and security. It gives a possibility to live independently and focus on their work. We have three concept transformative stages. One, pre-incubation. There we are going to offer four months residential program for persons with mobility impaired. They can learn basic communication, computer, vocational, and entrepreneurship skills. Second, incubation. We are going to offer here co-working and maker space. Our mentors will guide them from idea to prototype. In the acceleration stage, we are going to guide our disabled entrepreneurs to avoid market risk and financial crisis. Welcome to Different Entrepreneurs Hub, D Hub. What makes us different? We understand the disabled problems and come up with innovative ideas to address our disabled people. I to live with walking disability. Let me ask you something. Did you ever experience to holding your pee eight hours per day? Maybe you can't get a toilet outside, right? Holding pee is a part of my life. Even when there is an accessible toilet, I can't go myself because I am physically dependable. For 33 years, I am facing this problem. I could not try for any solution. In Kantari, we get an opportunity to develop some products to address social issues. In my group, we are disabled. There, we invented a website which helps to mapping accessible toilet and also 
we started to develop a pee panty, which helped me and many other wheelchair users a possibility to pee freely. And we called it PEDA. Do you want to see? <laughs> Here. This is a pee panty. It is in prototype stage. We made this with cotton material. This pee panty had a pee, pee body. So it will help to come pee from outside. We have a attached pipe and this pipe will move into the pee holding bag. In this pee holding bag, we uh, pee silicon gel we are getting into this. That pee silicon gel will observe around 500 ml to 1000 ml pee. So we can develop this more. We could do this because we get right mentorship and right tools at Gander. Now, what if many people with disability can get similar kind of training? Imagine how many useful products can be invented. This is what exactly we are going to offer at DHUB. This is my dream. I believe disability is the mother of innovation. This quote by Sabria Tenberken is my driving force. DHUB, the place where all innovators proud. Thank you, everyone.